I'm on. Look, I got heroes. There's guys I admire and guys that, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, people call them ancestors. I just call them heroes and people I've read about and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know them people, so I don't know if they're ancestors or what. I just know that they wrote books and stuff. And the two most gallant, well, you know, prolific heroes that I want to speak about right now because their, their purpose and direction seem to be in question. There's others, too, even Dr. King. I was like, wow, y'all are Dr. King. But I'm talking about Frederick Douglass and Booker T. Washington. Both have been under question lately. They both wrote multiple autobiographies because they foresaw the stupidity that's occurring. Yeah? And they wrote multiple, both of them. I was like, these dudes, man, I like these dudes because I'm always, when I be hearing about, oh, this guy here and this guy here, it's always a biography. Well, you know. And I don't know, them guys don't know. The man that lived the life, he knows that's who I want to hear from. You know, that's what I be into. Let him speak, and then I'll see how I want to divvy it up. Because that's all I'm going to get. I ain't going to get no questions, no answers from the book or the story. So I want it as close to, you know, possible to at least the originator of the story. So I want to hear it from the story. You know him. And Booker T. Washington said just that in his autobiography. He came back again with the next one some years later and said, I'm back because a lot of the stuff I'm even hearing about me now ain't true. So I know it's going to be later on. It's going to get real messed up in here. He wrote another autobiography. Frederick Douglass was like stuck on autobiography. I think he wrote Three or four. Nobody has to tell you what they were thinking or say. They Oh, they did this. Oh, they did. Them niggas told you they self. Even King. And King did too. He told you himself. Yeah, I messed up hooking up with them Jews. Man, I thought we were doing something else. Got in this trap. Now people didn't miss the boat on something we had. We had a large, powerful movement of the freedom movement. The freedom marches and the freedom rides and all that stuff. We were kicking it, man. People knew about us worldwide. In the South, them niggas up north weren't kicking it like we were kicking it. In the South, in the South, we had guns and, you know, we would, it was the shit they were lynching us, nigga, please. We were at war and we knew it. So now, you know. We on this thing here where we pretending we're not at war, even though they shoot us down in cold blood, kill us in cold blood, and and nobody. Well, I even saw one one little chick. I won't mention her name because every time you mention her name, she makes money. Uh, but she talking about the the guy obviously killed himself uh, when the police was killing him. I'm like, okay. I, I can't argue with stupid. I'm not going to stand up, sit down, go around, and argue with stupid. No. They always said that when I was a youth. They say, you know, you got to be careful who you argue with. You mess around, argue with a few fool. People see you. They don't know who's the fool. What's the difference? Speak truth all the time. People will know you for the truth. People will expect the truth from you. And then when they hear garbage about you, they be like, oh, it wasn't that nigga. You talking about somebody else. Because they know you. There you go. One love.